Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Simplant Pro. If you are planning a case in the mandibular, you will need to trace the nerve on the treatment side. The software will automatically warn you when you plan an implant too close to the nerve. For this collision tool to work well, it is very important to draw the nerve correctly. An incorrect shape of the nerve might result in a false sense of security in incorrect diagnosis and treatment outcomes. First, we scroll through the image in the axial view and familiarize ourselves with the anatomy to identify the nerve's path. In the 3D view window, we left-click on the foramen mandibulae in order to move the correct slice in the 2D view window. We click Nerve to start drawing the nerve. In the axial view, we place the first point by left-clicking in the center of the foramen mandibulae. Scroll through the axial view and add additional points by left-clicking in the center of the visible nerve canal. If it becomes difficult to continue tracing the nerve in this view, move your mouse to the panoramic view and scroll through the images to continue placing points. The cross-section view can be used for this purpose as well. After you have placed the last point in the mental foramen, you finish drawing the nerve by right-clicking. If necessary, repeat the drawing of the nerve in the other quadrant. Next, we will scroll through the cross-sectional view in order to review the nerve path. If needed, you can adjust the position of each point by left-clicking on one and moving it to the preferred position. Finally, we will create a rough 3D model of the patient's bone via the segmentation wizard. Start with the anatomic type bone and, if needed, adjust the threshold by moving the slider from left to right. We are looking for a good compromise between the accuracy of the anatomy and the amount of artifacts. In order to find it, please check the axial and cross-sectional images to verify that the bone is fully colored. Pay extra attention to the region where you want to place the implant. When ready, click Next. Now use the axial view to locate the area where you want to place an implant and left-click on any point representing the cortical bone. A preliminary 3D model will be created. If the model presents undesired scatter in the 3D view, you can remove it. To demonstrate it, we will tap on the option Remove Scatter. By clicking and holding the left mouse button and dragging a circle around the area that you want to remove, it will be deleted. If you made any mistake, press the Undo button or Ctrl-Z on your keyboard and try again. Once the 3D model is satisfactory, you can ignore the two advanced next steps and click Finish to end the case preparation. Please note that Simplant Pro has more advanced tools that allow you to create impactful 3D models that will help you better engage with your patient. Please review Simplant Pro help pages for more information on how to get the most out of Simplant Pro or contact our customer support. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Simplant Pro.